Tax filing season is upon us. It officially kicked off January 28th. This is the first season in the wake of the new tax law, and there are some changes in effect you're going to want to know about. 7 Action News reporter Amira David has a look at why your refund could look very different this year. Well, this year there's a new tax form that's meant to simplify the process, but there are some other big changes that could spell big differences for your return. Do you know about the upcoming changes for the tax law? No, I don't. I'm not familiar with it. I'm not really caught up yet. Not a lot of folks I found had any idea what to expect for the first tax season since the new tax law went into effect. Even NFL Lions kicker Matt Prater, who I happened to stumble across. Definitely going to have to look into it and go from there. So I don't know. I'm going to have to learn it just like everyone else. So I caught up with a CPA and tax expert with Sequoia Financial Group to walk me through the changes, starting with a new tax form. They took things out that didn't need to be there. Turns out you no longer have to choose between filing a 1040A or 1040EZ. The new document is now simplified to just a half page. Even though it's a smaller form, there are some big changes. For one, the new law has eliminated personal and dependent exemptions. It also limits the amount of state and local taxes that can be deducted to $10,000. Instead, you get a larger standard deduction, nearly double from last year's, single people now at 12,000, married couples at 24. And on top of that, an increased child tax credit going from one to $2,000. If you have kids under 17, you're probably in for a pleasant surprise. But if you have kids over 17, you might not be in for a pleasant surprise. In the end, some changes could help you, some could hurt you, making it difficult to accurately shake out what it all means for your tax refund. But this expert says you can expect it to be at least a little different from what you saw last year. Don't bank your refund before you get it because you don't know what's going to be. Could be bigger, could be smaller. It's a, it's a mystery. And because this plan is so new, experts recommend that you get your taxes filed as soon as possible. That way you can avoid any major delays and perhaps get your refund sooner rather than later. I'm Amira David, 7 Action News.